It is time. Good evening and welcome to the Selectmen's meeting of May 14th, 2019. Would you like to uh, join me in saluting the flag? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay, first thing on our agenda is I would like to approve an expense warrant for 514.19 for $110,107.57. I'd like a motion. You have that motion. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 And now the next thing is that we have the tax collective quarterly reports. Motion. A motion to accept. And do we have discussion, Beth? Uh, I'll second it for discussion. Okay. One of the things that, if it's okay with y'all, I'd like to get with her and um, find out if we're if we're tracking what we're expecting to receive versus what we've received, because okay. she's she's got good accounting of what she's taken in, yeah. but but it'd be good to know kind of how how it's flown in and and how it relates to what we were planning against. Yep. Sure. That's so. a good idea. I don't have any problem with that. Either. Okay. So I'll just touch base with her sometime okay. during the week. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, our next one is an appointment uh, from the library trustees. And they would like to appoint Shelby Hill to uh, at, for her term from Tuesday, May 14th until the next election of May 2020. May 2020. <laughs> you have that motion. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. So we're all set. Uh, did you all did you all already take a vote at your meeting to do so? Yeah. Okay. So this is you. Did uh Okay, so all all Shelby will need to do is meet up with Mike uh, Siri to get sworn in. Mike was I don't know if he's still here. He was he's still here, Shelby. Just go knock on the door and he'll yeah, let you in. Yeah, if, if he's still there, I, I thought he was walking out when I was walking oh, was in. Was he? Oh I don't know. He was there. So. All right, I'll sorry. Go ahead. She she'll need to sign it too. Uh, oh. Shelby, if you want to grab the No, paper she usually she signs it in front of Mike. Right, but if he's here, she'll oh. need it. But I don't know. We'll have to see. Okay. If he's if he's here, great. If not, if you okay. don't mind dropping it back in here. Sure. Yeah, no worries. Thank you. Okay. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you, Shelby. Thank you. Okay. Then we have some other appointments. Uh, last week we were talking about putting uh, Kathy LaRocker as a member of the Capital Improvement uh, Planning Committee, and we, she would be the liaison for the Board of Selectmen, and we never voted on that. So I would like that motion. You have that motion. Um, uh, I'll second for discussion. Okay. Um, I think actually the specific ask from, from Mr. Falter was for her to be appointed as an at-large member. That way, if they needed one, if they needed a selectman oh, to have a quorum, that we could still do that. Uh, but with the understanding that she would have updated information from us as well, even though she's an at-large member. Okay. So, so I, member, but I can, I can add. Well, it, it doesn't need to be. It doesn't need to be. I, I just wanted to, to clarify that that while mm -hmm. there would be times when we'd be asking her to convey yeah. the information from the Board of Selectmen, she would actually be an at-large member. And that way they can keep one of us on there for quorum okay. purposes. Because every once in a while I managed to make it, and today it, was, today it happened that I managed to make it a quorum. So, okay. so all in favor of appointing Kathy LaRocca to the uh, CIPC? Aye. Aye. And the next one we have here is uh, to appoint an on-call EMT, and that is Matthew Glendron. I'd like to make a motion for that. You have that motion? All in favor? Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Now, the next one is we have appointments um, for the Beach Committee. And these terms are from May 14th, 2019 to June 30th, 2019. And we have David Ayers. David yep. is here. Yep. Thank you, David. Thank you, David. And we have Kathy Farr. And we have Leonard Farr and Alan Jones. And all of their appointments and their... Uh, mm -hmm. You should have Rose. Oh. Should, Rose you should have Rose and you should have Shelley. Um, and Donna. Donna I like they stuck together. All right. 
You got it? And we have, yeah, we have Donna Sullivan. Yep. And yep. we have Rosie Kadowski. Yep. Congratulations to all of them coming forward to want to serve on the beach committee. That's amazing. Thank it you. It is. I'm, I'm very you. happy because it's hard. a lot of times it's hard to get people. Yes. So we'll be meeting on the 22nd. <clears throat> We're, uh, Ian Nugent will be supporting with a list of things that we'll need to do between now and July 1st. And in the meantime, also working the agreements with Fish and Wildlife and potential boating, potentially with boating access. David, did I miss anything for tonight? Close enough? I'm sorry, I say close enough as far as tonight? Yes. Yes. And again, thank you for serving. It's nice to see David back around. We haven't seen him for a while. <laughs> you did the last night. Welcome back. Thank you. And I think it's a great opportunity when we can have things that are focused to people's interests. Yes. You know, because then that way it, it some sometimes it's a almost a boil the ocean where there's there's so much work if we can focus on on some very specific things. And it's that, nice with two of them living on the lake too. Yeah, it's absolutely. nice to have them. Okay. Our next one is a special permit, and that is for the lakes. And this is one for. Hmm? It says plural, but I think there's one. Oh, there's one. Uh, no, there's two of them. I think that's the second. What's oh, the same? What's the same one? Yeah. It should, okay. Should be the All right. <laughs> okay. We have it's for eight eleven uh, twenty nineteen. It's a quay bog pond. It's the Pioneer Valley Bass Anglers. Like a motion? Uh, you have that? a motion to that. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. And given that we have an agreement as of July 1st mm -hmm. for fees related to derbies, um, this may be the last one that goes without a fee. Oh, good. We'll have to communicate that through the committee. Our next one here is for the um, IOD insurance policy. And we always used, um, and this came, this is for the police and the fire accident renewal for 2020. Uh, we, all, we usually have a cooking company and they've exited from the market. So um, now this is being administered by Cabot Risks to, to strate <laughs> I'm doing good today. Strategics. And Cabot will continue to uh, recognize the relationship we had. And, they, and this is from Larry Joseph, who's president of the Joseph Insurance Agency. And uh, Larry said that they're very good. He said the rates will remain the same. And he says, but the new limits are usually higher than Cook's. So uh, I would like to uh, have a motion to sign this. Motion to sign the insurance agreement. Okay, I'll second that for discussion. When you said that the limits are higher, is it, do you mean the, the deductibles? Limits. The coverage limits. Some of the coverage limits are higher. Okay. You more to specifics in that letter, but basically you said it's everything that we already have for coverage and some of the limits are higher and the price is the same. So you made it totally compatible to what we have. Okay, I mean if the limits are higher in the, in the, in the, coverage in, in the, yeah, the meaning they cover more. Right, but but the cost is the same, then that's actually oh, right. Yeah. So all we don't, good. All so we don't have anything to sign then. Oh, he said, see right at the top. Oh, at the top. Sticky. He just said, just just sign off on that. That's all. And if you wanted to glance up. at this after. Yeah, I'll, okay. I'll look at it afterwards. I'm okay. I'd like to later. make a motion for the chairman to sign. You have that motion. All Second. In favor? Yeah. Aye. 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 Yeah, that one I can review the details after because Larry's been pretty good about yeah. Oh, yeah, being good. up front about. The content. Yeah. You want this down there, Al? That'd yeah. be great. Yeah. Okay. Now our next one is um, it's a signed scope of the services of the FY 1920 abandoned house demolition fund. Okay. Uh, we received a grant for this, and the grant was gotten by Kathy Larocco, who yes. is our grants person, and I want to congratulate Kathy for getting the grant. And it's a grant of $2,700. And this is to take down an abandoned house here that we have. What is it, 50? Is it, I don't know which. It's 34 South Main. I think it is. South Main Street. 30 back to back. 34. Yeah. And now. 
Do you want it? I think we need a signature. Okay. I'd like a motion for the chairman to sign. Motion to sign. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. It's a small grant, but we're getting, but Kathy's getting the work done. Well, I know she's, she's, she's going after the campground buildings next. Yes, Steve. What are the grants that she secured? Oh, we have a whole bunch of reports from her. Um, I can pull it up on my it's phone. One of the questions we have. It's, okay. Um, I, we can we can we can forge you her her we'll regular reports. Oh, you want to for, yeah. you want yeah. to forward all the ones that you forwarded to me, okay. if you would. Thank you. Yeah, it's and been it's even with a lot of, lot of them being small so far. It's certainly been the position has more than funded itself already. And aren't so. the grants? I, are they supposed to be kept? I think in the accountant's office, if I remember. Yes. Right. Yes, the accountant's supposed to have the uh, the grants. So there must be a file over there with all the grants in them. Yes, but we do have the reports from Kathy that that yeah, would would satisfy well, Steve's curiosity. Well, okay. And there's and there's also okay. there's also some significant ones still out there, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, and and there's been a lot of learning about certain programs that are out there that are are evergreen programs where we get the opportunity to resubmit and you get feedback every time you submit against them. Yep. Okay. Um, so yep. we've got. A lot well, of progress on that front. Well, specifically, the big one that she's going after between now and Ju July 1st will be a park grant for what what the Open Space Committee wants to do is to pro promote the idea of the replacement of the playground. So the replacement of the playground is 80000 bucks, and we can get 70% of that through the, the next grant that she's going to write. So that's probably going to be her big one of the year. So. Right, and, and we're still in the running for the fire truck. Yes. So yeah. the, 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 the federal government hasn't said no yet, so. Why she's in place. Thank you. Okay. So, do we have anything under other this evening? I have two. <gasps> Go ahead. All right. Um, would the board support me in going to a meeting on Thursday evening to say that the town of Brookfield is interested in a study that CMRPC will be doing on elderly housing? Yes, I, yes. I support so you. So we have, we have an opportunity. Yep. It's a regional study, mm -hmm. but uh, again, in that clear government stuff that uh, uh, Kathy secured, one of the things that we need to understand is Brookfield has 50% more than the towns around, comparative towns mm -hmm. around us of elderly living alone and so that having a, a better understanding of what that population is all about and what we might be able to do to serve them would be a good thing that would be great because it right. would be it's nice if we could get something from elderly housing in here because yeah. we need it bad we do so anyway so that's the lta money and, and i'll i'll support that the second thing is that i will be meeting on thursday morning with the state biologist mm -hmm. that uh in back to coming out of the open space one of the things that the open space group wanted to make sure we per pursued were trails and walking trails and the like what we learned is that Fish and Wildlife is going to do a 400-acre cutting plan over the next few years, not soon, but coming. And one of the things that I suggested to him from the green forest stuff, stuff that we did at the Plimpton Forest was to take advantage of the tote roads that get created for the cutting as trails for the future. So I'll be meeting with him on Thursday to discuss how we might work cooperatively to have some I more trails. I support you 100 percent on doing this. Yep. So anyway, just want to let you know what what I have a, an opportunity is, to and do. And it is nice with the trails because we had um, our woods done, we had forested, and we have trails all through now. Yep. It's nice. It's a good plan. It is good a good plan. plan to yeah. Have that. Kermit and uh, some others walked other trails mm -hmm. and then uh, marking up a, a trail map of mm -hmm. existing trails. So we'll have that hopefully with the June uh, 30 publication of the open space plan. So, so far, so good. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, just quickly, uh, I did attend the Capital Improvement Planning Committee meeting mm -hmm. and I also uh, attended a meeting with the library trustees yesterday evening. Yeah. Um, so uh, with regards to the meeting with the library trustees, I'd like to, that we meet briefly in executive sure. session around um, some, some potential contract negotiation work that might need to occur. Um, and then with regards to the Capital Improvement Planning Committee, um, I just wanted to share with you some of my notes from that, is that um, 
I did communicate to them the uh, more fully than what was in Karen's email, kind of the, the current status of getting the book reconciliation yeah. done and the impact that that was having from a standpoint of the warrant. Um, so um, they did take numerous votes regarding supporting, even if it's going to be in the fall, certain items. They do also support maintaining the ambulance on the annual town yeah. meeting uh, warrant just by virtue of the fact that that comes from, from independent funds. Mm -hmm. um, and then uh, they did want some support, and I'm going to be reaching out to the treasurer. They just want to understand better um, what methodologies we would be using once we get to the special town meeting uh, regarding funding um, from a standpoint of the, the fire truck, if we get one, or the, um, and or the, the library building. Mm -hmm. uh, so I, I have a request already to the treasurer just to asking about what would what would that note look like um, I'm going to follow up with her and ask that she include the the fire potential fire truck costs that would so that we can see exactly what the roll-up would look like um, and then they did actually have a question regarding the um, specifically the software and the email portion of the capital improvement plan for the computers mm -hmm. is that where um, it would fall under actually potentially a line item because it's recurring software cost if we move to a, a web-based service for the email with Microsoft government. Um, they wanted us to tie out with the advisory committee about uh, leaving the hardware for the fall because the hardware mm -hmm. while it's important with the changeover from Microsoft 7 that can probably wait until then without causing an issue but if we're going to have to get an email transition done by March they're highly concerned because some of them have been through those transitions before that we need to fund it now to be able to execute it mm -hmm. in time for the March deadline uh, so and that would be basically eight, uh, 87 hundred dollars in the operational budget to at least have enough set aside mm -hmm. so that we can get somebody okay. to do the transition um, so I just wanted to communicate that with you all and then find out if, if you wanted me to get with advisory about about how to incorporate that because I think they're here actually to ask about like the level of funding versus if there are things that really truly need to be bumped up uh, I think we've independently done a, a look at the overall um, Cherry sheet, uh, levy limit numbers, and, and right now it looks like like we were last year. Last year when we did the math, we didn't include all of the new growth, quite frankly, in the mm -hmm. numbers. So that's why we were saying we were at about a uh, hundred to one hundred and twenty thousand dollars headroom for the levy limit when the true new growth numbers were incorporated, and when we got the final on the cherry sheet numbers, we wound up still about three hundred thousand dollars underneath the levy limit. Okay. We're about the same position today for this year's funds. I understand we don't have our books balanced, but at the same time, we may need to have some dialogue with the state if we do want to do at least some of these things um, okay. or address you know, some of the other so things you, that we want. Yeah, so. We talked to probably that, to Mary Jane Handy. Yeah. It. So if you wanted me, because I've been basically talking to her, if you want to you know, give me the information. I can call her. Okay, that'd be great. Okay, I'll, I'll give it. I'll send it in writing to Karen, and to, uh, yes. I'll send it in writing to Karen so that you have it. Okay, and, and, I, and I'll get in touch with Mary Jane. Yeah, and just and just see if 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 they'll put in writing for us um, why they're kind of directing the level funding because the if we have all of the high level numbers, there's there's really not a if we were close to our levy limit, there'd be a strong case that we absolutely would have to right. level fund. Okay, but we do have a decent stabilization, and we do have this very clear fiscal discipline from a standpoint of where our spending has been versus what our incomes are. Um, so I, I don't. I'd really like to see something from them as to why we would okay, have so to take get that, that approach. Get that to Karen, and okay. I will get in touch with her, and then. Karen, I'll get back to you. That'd be awesome. Thank you. Okay. All right. Do we have any other thing? Any other? Because if not, we are going to go into Steve's. Well, we talked about it, so we must well talk about it, which is, um, yeah, we've approved a number of budgets well before anything went down yeah. here with town and everything else. Um, now, we're, we're ready to simply level fund everything and 
send those notices out in various states like that. There are there are contractual obligations that we have. Yep. School mm -hmm. police. School and police um, we have to go with. A couple other things, you know, and then <clears throat> um, and, and, and so something in the way of direction in that regard. Um, there are some others that are um, and nothing pops in my head yeah. right off the bat, but uh, you know, legitimate bumps that were, you know, seemed very, very reasonable. A very, you know, very real one was, um, for instance, utilities right across the entire town, okay? Um, everyone's looking for more money there. Most people are running out of it this year, in fact. Um, um, and, you know, onesies and twosies. Here. Now, with these so, different, the, the reason they're running out is this is because their um, accounts that have deficits in, in them because there was quite a few. And we've got to get that checked out. Well, I'm going to answer you this way. Um, um, sort of a two-part answer. This was the first year that um, each department was accountable for their own. Yes, service. I I know that. Okay, yeah. shift. So so there's maybe some some messiness there. Okay, and then the second thing is. Um, um, you know, from, from what I'm hearing, what we're hearing is that people are saying we've spent the money. Now, to your point, um, <laughs> I'm not sure anyone has a true account of that. No, okay? nobody has a true um, account. But I know, for instance, Chief Martel keeps a, you know, a little paper, black book. Paper you know, ledger. He a paper, oh. or keeps a paper ledger. Okay, right. because apparently it's in our Bibles. <laughs> so, okay. <laughs> I know. Um, I think he, he he's, um, you know, I'm trusting his number, okay, um, but um, it's well, just an example of what we're hearing and where we're seeing okay. requests for additional monies mm -hmm. that if we level fund, we'll be there. Um, and, um, but we could always go back and revisit them in the fall. Of course we can. If, 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 so in other words, that would be another conversation with town accountant mm -hmm. or the interim town accountant, whatever you want to say, with yeah. yourselves and everything else, okay? What is the path to that? Right. Okay. Well, once and we yeah, once we have everything done that, they, that they've told us they're going to do, then we can sit down with them and we'll find the path where we're going to go and who we're going to hire to do this position. Uh, so, very well. When would be a conversation an open conversation about those sorts of things. What is the path forward if we're going to hire a, a full-time accountant or hire this firm, this firm independently? You know, well, it's when, do, when do we when do we have as a town that conversation, or at least between your finance committee and the board of selectmen? Well, we really won't know anything until they close um, 18 and they close 19, and there's a lot of work that has to be done for FY 18. And um, and I was told the other day it could take anywhere between six to eight months to get this done. Yeah, we've got to do something in preparation. I yeah. mean, the, the meeting that Steve's the talking about. The meeting that Steve is, is talking it, about. It's got to be some either next yeah, week yeah, or the so week so after. Our, our concern, one of our main concerns, okay, is is with all due respect to you folks and, and our new accounting firm, um, holding the 2020 fiscal budget and process hostage to, you know, ancient, you know, history, a long-term history of just a lot of messing up, okay? Um, we'd like, we'd like some very specific guidance and I feel we're gonna get it, okay? But that's what we're asking for in the way of direct, du direct um, access to these folks. Um, Tom Regan is working, you know, one of our members is working, um, the entire spreadsheet of the town of all town budgets and he's just got simple questions about hey can i can i rearrange some of the some of the rows here you know a lot of this doesn't make sense various things like this jeff jeff clark is here he's he's who we've assigned to be the direct contact um you know an entire career professional career in accounting various uh, aspects like that, and so this is not a time waster. This is how do we get this done correctly and set ourselves up for a successful 2020 and beyond. So, well, did he? Well, did you get 
Did you get the email yesterday that Karen sent that we had sent to Eric Ker Kershaw? Yes, I did. And yeah. like he said, he says in regards to the 2020 budget, he says our focus is on cleaning up FY18 and FY19. Correct. And he says if there are any questions, mm -hmm. you know, they can be directed towards the Board of Selectmen. And then yep. we'll get back to you. This is what, this is what Eric said. I'm well, reading it right from his email. I know what Eric said. Eric works for us. Well, he's working right. for the Board of Selectmen. Right, correct. Yeah. He works for the town of Berkshire. But this is, but he, what he's working, you know, but I'm Steve. I'm going to take a lot of his time. But I, Steve, I well, I'm just telling you what he said. Well, if you have yeah. questions. So, Can't we tell him what we need as well? Right. right. He works for us, correct? Right. But he's not here, though, for the 2020 budget. He is here, like I just told you, to clean up 18 and 19. M Madam Chair, through you, um, some of the questions that you're asking, I, I can at least share because they're questions that I've asked in the past, and I can tell you the answers that I've gotten before. So some of the questions that Tom has, like, can we rearrange the budget? Could we? Yes. It, the way it's currently structured was for the convenience of the accountant because currently it is structured. If you take a look at the variant sheet that was sent out to you on a monthly basis when it was getting sent out on a monthly basis. It's in identical order. So currently the budget sheet is set up in the order of the accounts and other the, under the families of the accounts. That's important because when they file with the state, okay, um, there, there's certain buckets that they have to classify all that into, like those headers that say like uh, public safety, um, all of that. Right. Those are the same buckets of money that we have to re report to the state how much we're spending of our budget against those particular things, assessments and mandates, all of that stuff. So there is a reason for the structure of that sheet. It was for someone's convenience. I would ask that in the 2020 budgeting process you keep it consistent because now is not the time to make changes in something like that for the convenience of your committee. When we have a new accounting firm in place and we're through the reconciliation process, then we can take a look at, at creating something that's more convenient for the committee as well. Uh, and, and it may be that we'll restructure our accounts and we'll just have it reflect that restructuring. But for right now, for, this, for the sake of the fact that, that, that we're, we're going to have enough work occurring within the VADAR system, I would ask that even though it may not make the most sense to you all to maintain largely the structure of the sheet as it stands. Agreed, and I, okay. I'm not. You're not going to get pushback from us with that. It, it's 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 more of a, the notion that isn't this something they'd be doing as well, and therefore so, right. We be right. On that no, and actually, and actually, Madam Chair, I'm sorry. Through you, historically speaking, okay, yeah. the accountant has had very little to do with that sheet. Mm. Okay, for for. For, a, for the the accountant has advised on how much revenue that they've had coming in, okay, yeah. and, and certain key aspects like some of the mandates, okay, but it's it's most of the last at least n eight to nine years that budget sheet and and what you're talking about has largely resided within the confines of the advisory committee, okay. It was only in the last year or two. That the accountant had wanted to be, you know, more directly involved earlier on in the process. Right now, we don't have an accountant, and the accounting firm that we have retained is going to be focused on getting the books cleaned up. So, for this year, we really need the advisory committee to to really just own it. At this point, if you have questions, we can address them as a board of selectmen. But or I, I was yeah, just that's, that's fine. I just don't want to encounter what Clarence was very clear in October. He said everything goes through. Right, and we're and sort of beyond that, I guess. we're beyond. Yeah. We are beyond yeah. that. And, and at the time, at the time with the with the people who were in place, that was their desire was to be more engaged in the process. Clearly, that didn't work out well, even as it ran. At, at, we need to kind of go back to the future and do it how we've done it in the past, and have advisory just own the that whole oh, thing. Okay, yeah, well, I just have one procedural question. Okay. I know eighteen, nineteen. 20, as Steve has said, there's a lot of valid um, requests coming in that we've approved that are increases. We're, we would, you know, the ones that actually have to be done fine, well, I think what we're trying to do also is not do everything two or three times 
referring that so, to the October so, or whatever, whenever the special meeting is, and trying to keep track of everything so, that's been done is going to be very difficult so, also. So I, I was thinking that if we go ahead and have one option, which is what we think the budget should be, and then one which is this is sort of the special what goes to the town meeting with these and with an explanation. Some of them are saying we have to not level fund this because, you know, contractual reasons. Then we wouldn't have to do everything over again in July, August, September, where everyone sort of, you know, who knows where everyone is. So, <laughs> so, so we can take a couple of different approaches with that. And, and we can, we, my recommendation would have been if you if you had asked offline just that do your budget how you would have done your budget in the absence of this scenario okay and have a second budget that only moves the things that were contractually obligated to move and i just asked if it was okay to and and i'm going to draft some questions and i can include some of this in, in what i'm going to send to karen to get some clarification in writing from the state and from our accounting firm about why we're getting the direction to level fund given our current position with our revenues and the and the headspace between our expenditures and and our levy limit mm -hmm. okay that may make this a moot conversation no i'm just saying is that just from, from a common sense standpoint that's yep. how we would like to handle it so if you can get some guidance from whoever you talk to then that would be great yeah so and then i was also going to suggest i will talk to her on tuesday uh, we've had one of the girls already started. She's coming in to do the warrants. And I could ask her if she would be available to you for questions, and I could give you her e email address. And I will ta I'll talk to her on Tuesday when she comes in, because she's going to be here on Tuesdays. Yeah, that sounds great. So, yeah, that'd be great. So I'll talk to her. So, so do we have a conversation before the annual anyway? Oh, yes, we do. We always, right. we have, always do. We always so, do. So, so let's make sure we gather our questions. Mm -hmm. You're doing some stuff. They're doing some stuff. We ought to be cognizant of those yeah. and if you have decisions to, and, and then yes. agree to agree of how to move mm -hmm. forward. And if you do have questions, separate questions that you want me to get to him, you can get me the questions and I can email them, and I'm sure he'll, he, he'll, he's willing to answer these questions. Very well. That's what he told us. Excellent. And Jeremy, we have yes. a question here. Relative to the accountant, what has this accountant been doing the last two years for us? Been paying good money and nothing gets done. I. That's what I'd like to know. I think a lot of people in town would like to know that too. Plus, we gave her a five thousand hour raise in more hours. Well, we thought the we thought the work was getting done. So you never even showed that happened. Your, your we're, we're talking a personnel issue. Yeah, we're that, yes, yeah. Yeah. Not, yeah. We can't talk about that. Okay, so you don't have an answer. Thank you. Does anybody else have any comments? Nope. We need to go into our executive yeah, we, session. Yeah, we'd yeah. like to. It's see? Just, you know, we're, we're we're in process. Yeah. We're doing like we own yeah. the budget. We've got all. You know, we're rolling. Okay, so get the, but like I said, Steve, if you yeah. have questions, get them to either Karen yeah. or I, we, we got a guy. or Jeff, ha no. if you have them, you can get, uh, email me, or you can email Karen, and we'll get them to Eric. Okay, thank you. Okay, so now we want to, uh, we want to go into executive session under number six. Under number six. And uh, number six is to consider the purchase, exchange, lease, or value of real estate if the chair declares that an open meeting may have a detrimental effect on the negotiating position of the public party. You have that motion. Second. Uh, okay. Lincoln, I. Snyder, I. Coughlin, I. And we will come back into regular session to adjourn. Oh, right. Yep. Thank you.